Shalom, y'all, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Yahsha Allah. Kol Haloyim La Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Harakakodash. We're blessing our elders with the spirit of truth so that we may know. Shout out to the Akim and the Akwaf that's keeping the faith and the work. Y'all keep at it. It's your brother Abaya coming at you with more quote and precepts. All right? Revelation chapter 1, and um, I believe it's verse 7. I'm going this way. Oh, he, man, you big head. <clears throat> anyway, Revelation chapter 1, verse 7. Um, the Most High says, I believe it's verse 7. What the Most High Yahweh says, he coming, he's coming back with the clouds, all right? Um, oh, where is it? Um, what the Most High Yahweh by Shemir Yahweh says, he he won't meet the devil as a man. He coming back in his full power, all right? And the devil is terrified of that power because it's something that they can't control and it's something that they can't explain um, to, to the point to where it puts minds at ease in the daughter of Babylon, right? Uh, and it, it, it terrifies them to hear the men of the Lord explain everything that's happening according to the precepts in the word, right? So uh, on top of that, then you got Esau's own people that's um, starting to see the lies and the contradictions of this world um, and, and see these people not have fear uh, speaking on it, right? So it's, it, these are powerful times that we're living in. In other words, that's what I'm saying. We're living in some real life powerful times. And um, these are times of um, salvation drawing near, right? And uh, all prayers to Yahweh by Shemir, I was shot by Shemir, I was for it, right? Because <clears throat> like I said, we're living in some beautiful times. Um, I plan on uploading a couple videos that I saw on TikTok um, where you have a lot of um, uh, military individuals that's um, really um, nervous about the times that we're living in because of what they're seeing happening around the world. Uh, I brought out the point of uh, what's going on in Africa as it pertains to the daughter of Babylon uh, and how big of a deal it is when I went out to speak. And it, it is a big deal. Why? Because uh, uh, Africa holds a lot of uh, resources. And whoever holds the major claim in Africa, basically you, you hold a lot of power uh, as it pertains to uh, this world. And Russia and China being in there, and, and um, you know, um, a lot of the country, when I, like I said, like 40 countries in Africa saying they don't want no parts of Babylon, that's a, that's a huge deal. Right, that means that this place is losing its power. It's being exposed. Right, and I bring that point out, or the Spirit brings that point out all the time. That this is the time of revelation, man. This is the time for the daughter of Babylon to be exposed. This is the time for the Most High's people to be um, uh, awakened. Right, to be awakened is is, is a uh, is a revelation in itself. You you are being revealed. Your real self is being re revealed to you. Right, so. Yeah, we're living in some powerful times, like uh, like the head apostle says, uh, Yahweh Shema Shaharat Azam, man, uh, months, you know, and all of us praying and have the same hope, right? Saying the same prayer, have the same hope that Yahweh Shema Shaharat Azam, man, we months away from seeing this place destroyed, right? From seeing the, seeing the end of our oppression, seeing the end of our slavery, seeing the end of our servitude, man, right? Um, so like it says in First Peter chapter 4, I bring this out, or the Spirit brings this out all the time. The end of all things is at hand. Um, be, be sober. All right? Maintain your mental in, this, in these um, powerful times and, and recognize that um, these times are powerful. And, and um, recognize these times are powerful on your behalf. Right? Like it says in the book of Joel on um, chapter 3, the Most High is gathering the nations because it's for our sakes. You know? Um, the Most High's word says that he would, he would save his people. Those of us that halted, right, and, and that's what we've been doing. We've been repenting. We've stopped 
uh, with the nigga mindset. Uh, it's understood that we can't fully uh, let that go because that's something that we weren't born knowing is true. So that's something that we have to fight with on a day to day basis. Like I brought, I brought uh, you know, the spirit brings out all the time. Uh, not only are we uh, um, fighting against, you know, this system and fighting against uh, the devil, but we're also fighting within ourselves. Like, like Paul said, the, the, um, the spirit man is battling that carnal man on a daily basis because the spirit man wants to be as righteous as he can be, but that carnal man is just always in uh, opposition of it, right? Um, and this carnal man is is stronger than carnal men of the past, right? And I'm speaking in these bodies, right? Because of who's in charge, Joel 9, 24 says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. And they have several uh, pieces of novel to show that they experimented on Jake. They experimented on us and created this thing called a uh, black man and, you know, all the other by words that they called us. They created this individual and certain spirits that's inside of these individuals, right? Uh, uh, spirits that come directly from the wicked. So that's something that we have to battle with. But like I said, all praise to Yahweh by Shemir, I was shy. By Shemiro Kakodash, the battle is almost over with because this devil's kingdom is going down, right? And we recognize it and we see it, and it's a blessed, it's a blessed thing to be able to see what what's going on. Like it says in Matthew uh, chapter 13, we're seeing what the prophets wanted to see. We, we're seeing what the apostles wanted to see, right? So count yourself blessed, right? So um, yeah, man, we're living in some powerful times. Recognize it as such and act accordingly, right? Um, Romans chapter 13 and verse 11, and that knowing the time, that now is the time to wake out of sleep. Like, for now is our salvation nearer than we believe, right? So I end with that, man. That's all the Spirit got in me uh, to speak on right now. Um, so with that, hey, um, Yahweh Hashem Yahshua Rath is you were edified by this message. Call Haloyim La Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai Bahasham Harakakudash Shalom Yahshua.